It is Thursday night and it is a long weekend this weekend. So I am getting ready to go up to Northern Arizona for kind of a relaxing, but you know, I'm always working type of a weekend. Uh, I asked the other day on Facebook what you guys were doing and I loved reading your answers. I loved reading about what you were doing, but also the types of gear that you were gonna bring. And I wanted to share with you guys some of, your, some of the answers that people uh, were gonna we're gonna do. Actually, Colin already went on a long weekend. He said he just had a long weekend in the UK and he took his Nikon D7100 and D7000 with two lenses. I wonder what lenses he took and exactly what he did. Hmm. These are the things that I think about when I'm on Facebook. <laughs> really, you went there, hmm? Ah. Joel went to, or he's going to Franklin County, Maine with his D810, his 70 to 200 f2.8 Oh, with a teleconverter. And he's waiting for the 200 to 500 at 5.6 to begin shipping. Oh, he says eagles, loons, deer, moose, and more. Oh my, sounds exciting. Maybe I wanna do some wildlife photography this weekend. That might be fun. Hmm, Carl sent, he attached a picture of a huge amount of gear and he says most all of it, LOL. <laughs> Hilarious. And then let's see, Lester says he's keeping it local with a D700 and a 70 to 200 F2.8. Awesome. No excuse not to be playing around with your gear, right? Okay, so let me, let me show you guys what, what I'm gonna pack uh, for my trip. I'm gonna be doing definitely some relaxing and just some you know fun type of photography. Probably I'm thinking that I'm gonna wanna do a sunrise somewhere, maybe a sunset. I don't know. I really like sunrise because I have a good opportunity for wildlife photography because I know a couple of spots where I am guaranteed to see wildlife uh, right around sunrise. And then it's also first Sunday this weekend. So I want to bring something a little more minimal, um, which serves a dual purpose for me because I'm also going to be doing some active stuff. And it would be nice to have something small to just toss into my camelback when I'm hiking or whatever it is that I end up doing. Whoever knows. Whoever knows what I'm gonna end up getting myself into. So let me show you guys what I'm gonna put it all in. First of all, I have this Timbuktu bag. This is one of my favorite bags to bring when I'm going on trips where I'm not bringing a whole ton of gear because it's the right size and it holds my laptop. Um, it is, this was called the Snoop bag. And I think this is a size medium. Sorry for the ripping sound, Velcro. Um, it has an insert, hold on. I was using this today as just a laptop bag. So I took out the insert. It's right here. It's this padded insert that has um, dividers that you can take in and out, the dividers and the insert. So that's gonna go in there and get it in there all nice and snug. Okay. So the first thing that I know I'm gonna to wanna to bring is my D810. Um, I'm filming with it right now. <laughs> so we're gonna pretend that I'm putting it in there. That'll fit right in the larger compartment. It's already like this because that is where the D810 and the 24 to 70 are gonna go. That's kind of what my default has been lately, um, just for right now. I mean, sometimes I wanna bring the D810 and a couple of primes. Um, this weekend, it's gonna be D810 and 24 to 70 because I may want to do, I may want to film a video. Um, and that's one of my favorite setups to film video with because of the flexibility of the zoom lens. Okay, and then in my little, I've got a little mini pocket over here and I, I already have an extra battery in it that's fully charged. That's actually in there from last weekend. So I'm gonna leave that in there. Okay, so then on top of that, I want my little setup and I decided I'm gonna bring my little Nikon 1V1. I have the 10 millimeter lens on it right now. I love this lens because it matches, it's a little pancake lens, it's awesome, it's a nice you know, wide angle. So it gives me some nice stuff when I'm out hiking and, and things like that. I'm just not sure if I wanna bring any more lenses. I actually put them all right here thinking, hmm, maybe I'll just decide to toss one in at the last minute. Um, I think I'm not going to. I think I'm just gonna bring this. I have this little zipper bag that is by no means a camera bag, but it does offer a little bit of protection when I put the camera in my backpack. 
people are probably going to freak out that this is what I do, but it is. And you know, I'm careful. I don't really fall down very often. So it usually stays okay. And I'm going to sneak that in there. Okay. Let's just move these guys off to the side. And then I will put this laptop right in the back and my mouse I'll put in here as well. And then I also, I always have a notebook with me lately. Sometimes I just don't want to type stuff. I want to write it down. So pen and a pencil in there. Hmm, that's a note from earlier today. <laughs> it was hiding. Good thing I wrote myself a note because it's underneath the notebook. Okay, that's all that's going to go in here. The other thing that I, oh, I didn't show you guys. One thing is that this bag has um, straps at the bottom for a tripod if you want to put one at the bottom. I actually already have one up there um, that I will use to shoot video if I need to. I so rarely bring one out with me while I'm shooting, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Okay, one other, one other thing I'm gonna bring is an action cam because I know I'm gonna be doing some active stuff and I just got this inexpensive action cam. I'm keeping it in this big reusable bag that I got at, I don't know, somewhere. And here's the camera in its little case. And I really like it. Um, it's called the King Cool action camera. You know what? I'll put a link to the review I did of this camera in the description below. When you go to that video, you will find a link to this guy so you can see exactly what it is and you know, what it comes with and everything, but um, it comes with a lot of stuff and it's a good little action cam that I've been playing with. And I think I'm gonna just toss this in with my stuff. I do have another more expensive action cam that I love using, but this thing is kind of intriguing me right now because it is so inexpensive. So I'm gonna toss that in with my stuff. Um, and then the very last thing that I bring that I always wanna mention is my backup, which I think you guys can see. Let me scoot it over just a little bit. Oh, oh so careful because it's plugged in. Um, I bring a backup of all my stuff with me. Not every time I go anywhere. Sometimes I'll send it to my parents' house or something, but I always have a backup away from home when I'm not gonna be here. So in this case, I bring it with me. I just, you know, probably again, not like the most safe thing to do, but I put it in a bag and I'm just really careful with it. And I'm actually finishing the update right now, or it just finished the update. That's why I moved it. <laughs> um, just finished the update. Update. It's coming with me and it's got all of my photos on it. Um, all my jobs for the last, I don't know, while, um, years, my last couple years at least of jobs. And yeah, it comes with me just in case anything happens. And then in case you're wondering, I've got like this bag, I've got a bag that that's in, I've got my, my Timbuktu bag. Uh, since I travel back and forth so often between Northern Arizona and Central Arizona, I get a big, ba a big bin, a big plastic bin that you find at you know the big box store. And I put everything in that and I just put that in the back of my car. So all of my, you know, my bag of clothes and everything it just goes in there and then I'll have like an additional food bag or something. You guys will be actually hearing more about how I travel in another video that I plan on making soon uh, about how I take my field trips. So you'll see a little bit more in depth how I pack up my stuff, the types of things that I use, um, and then what, a, what I bring it all in. And that's it for me. I'm gonna tuck myself into bed tonight so I can get an early start tomorrow. I hope you all have a great weekend. If you haven't told me what you guys are doing and the type of stuff that you are bringing, let me know. Whether it's a long weekend for you or not, let me know because I love hearing about the types of outings that you take to, to do photography or even not to do photography. And I love hearing about gear choices and why you bring what you bring because everybody likes something different and I just like to hear different perspectives all the time. So that's it. I hope you guys have a great weekend and I'll talk to you later.